Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. And in this week's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a button to uh, the success message in the contact form. So after someone submits a form, they see a message like, you know, thank you, we'll get back to you. I'm gonna show you how to add a button there. So you can direct someone like, you know, go to the homepage or visit our shop or something because otherwise they're just sort of left there. Um, that's not very good. So I'm gonna show you how to add this button. Let's take a look. And I've always, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you're checking out the written tutorial. That's where you'll get the code. All right, so it's a three-step process. It's actually uh, pretty easy. The first thing we're gonna do is add a CSS class. So we'll copy that here. You can read the directions. Um, basically, it's just telling you what I'm saying here. So uh, let's go over to our website, open up uh, wherever you have the contact form, open up the settings, go to the advanced tab, CSS ID and classes, and paste it right here. So ET, or yeah, wow, uh, PA contact form success button. And what that's gonna do then, it's gonna say, hey, you know, when we add the uh, code, it'll add the button to this module because we've added the class to this module, okay? So right here, we actually wrote a message already. So once that message is written there, we're kind of um, adding the button onto the message. Um, so I, th I think, I, offhand I actually forgot to check that, but I think you have to have the message there. Yes, because we're, we're adding the button to the message, okay? So make sure you write a message there. That's, you would do that anyway. Um, so yeah, basically save that. Go back to the tutorial. And the next step is, well, actually I'm reminding you here to do that um, with the adding the message, but the next step is the jQuery. So what this does, it's, um, in fact, we could look at it a little bit. We're seeing our class here that we've added, and then it's adding, um, it's adding a message as like, um, let's see, where is it, right here. It's hard to see when it's wide like this. Anyway, right here, is, you can see a link, All right? And you can see even it says yourdomain.com. And then we have this class that's added. But anyway, your text here, so that's gonna be your own button text and your own button link. Um, the rest of the code, it's adding the link to the text that's added. All right, so let's just copy that. Um, you, you could put this a couple of different places. Um, you could put it in your theme options. So back here in Divi, theme options, integrations, right here, and paste, All right? And so that would be um, probably the best place to do it, so let's just save it there. The other place would be using a code module on the page. Um, there's, it doesn't really matter, I think this is better. So we talked a little bit about this, but it doesn't really matter. Basically, it's we're targeting that class that we've added. We're targeting that module, and we're saying, we want it to go to this domain and have this text. So we, we're gonna have to change that, right? So you wanna put the link here to whichever page on your site you want it to go. Maybe it's like yourdomain.com slash shop or yourdomain.com for like the homepage. And then you would write your text here like go to homepage or visit our shop. You know what I mean? Something like that. So that would be what you'd wanna do next and make sure again that you save your changes. The last step um, will actually be styling. Um, so in fact, let me, I'll just copy that and then we'll fill out the form because you can't see it until you fill it out. So that's kind of the bummer here. Um, you know, let's just fill it out. All right, submit that. Here we got our message and look, you can see this link. Remember your text here and it's a link. Um, I could click it and it would go to yourdomain.com. Um, anyway, so what I'm gonna do is style it now, like a button. So I'm gonna use my uh, Chrome extension, user CSS, and I'll paste the code that I got in the tutorial, and you can see that it looks like a button now. All right, um, and even has a hover effect. So you can customize this however you want. Um, I have some base, you know, styling, and it's kind of meant to be customized by you. So like um, the background color, I'm using green. You would want to use whatever you want, right? The text color, 
the font size, the border radius. Maybe you want it to be, you know, more like a square kind, right? That's up to you. Maybe you want to adjust the padding, you know? Um, that's up to you. Uh, the margin, I added a margin top. That's probably important. That's just that space between there and the text. Um, and then on hover, I'm changing the background, the color. It's that simple. Um, you you do it what you, how you want to do it. Um, you can also check our other tutorial about styling this, um, the message. Um, we did that um, before, so you can check that. So there you go. Everything's done. Now, if you wanted to do this the easy way, we, we mentioned that here. You can do it with our Divi Contact Form Helper plugin. It basically adds a whole bunch of settings to the existing contact form module. In fact, here you can see the settings in the module for this. Um, it puts a you know success button. You could write your custom text right there in the module. You can say, well, do I want to redirect to a URL or maybe a page? And if you say page, well, then you can just pick the home page or the shop page or whatever right in the settings. It makes it really easy. And we even have a setting here to, to open in a new tab or not. So um, you can do it with the code or you can do it if you have our plugin already. So um, kind of makes it easy for you. All right. Well, I hope you enjoy that tutorial. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of tutorials related to the contact form um, and you know, highlighting some of the features in our helper plugin as well. And it's nice because we like to give you the option. You know, some of you just want to do it with the code and learn how to do that. And that's great. And that gives you the choice. So anyway, we do a tutorial related to Divi every week here on YouTube and on the blog. So if you subscribe, that's what you get. You don't have to worry about anything else. Um, yeah, that pretty much is it. We'll see you all in our next video.